So, folks, we're here with Nathan with Concept Knives. Pleasure. Nathan, good to see you, all, as always, brother. And uh, we saw you guys at SHOT Show. You had some new stuff there. Um, we saw all this right here. But these right here are new for this show here in Texas. Yes, sir. We've got the Tarkin and the Odd 21. Let's talk about the Tarkin first. Well, the Tarkin is a Matt Christensen design. I love his work. He just does beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, now, this model is the Tiger Striped Full Titanium Frame Lock. Uh, it will be coming in S35 and steel, uh, possibly 20 CV. I'm not too sure yet, but a good steel. Uh, and then obviously it will come with a uh, Damascus steel version yeah. as well. Uh, I like. I'm more a fan of the one you just handled with the tiger right. stripe. I like that tiger stripe, and it's also got kind of a kind of a matte finish. It kind of roughens the texture a little, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love that about that. That is super smooth, though. I mean, just super smooth action, and a really great no nonsense design too. Clean, um, simple, yeah. yeah. I mean, the lines just carry through beautifully. Got a nice, uh, like, I guess you would say extended tanto there on the yeah, blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, then, I'm not too sure about the pivot collars. I want to say they're titanium, but I could be wrong. I don't have a magnet with me. Right. <laughs> I that believe is, they will be. That is really cool. Now, let's move on to the Odd 21 here. So, designed by Tough Knives? Yes, sir. Uh, chunky bulky but in good ways like yeah it's it's a beast in hand feels good good weight to it too absolutely I really and I, I love i love this design it's super smooth um I, I like the way that it looks closed it's got like you said before it's got really aggressive jimping on yeah. that front flipper so you can get a good hold on it and That's pop right. it at open but it just feels so good in the hand and that drop point right there uh, with that nice big belly on it just beautiful lines and this is kind of the design that I always end up gravitating towards. Frame lock, and of course this one's going to come with the uh, the Damascus uh, plate as way as well, um, and then the S thirty five VN on the standard one right there, or possibly twenty CV. Or possibly so, twenty. Oh, uh, right. If it's twenty CV, great. I would love that. Right. That would be awesome. And um, I do like that the the flipper on the back is very unobtrusive. Um, Isaac has made known that uh, he doesn't like back flippers that much. Okay. Because they always end up like chicken wings, just sticking out on the back. That's this true. one's super small and unobtrusive, yeah. but it still works really well. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't think I've failed it before, so the the flipper tab works really, really well. Yeah. That is... Again, I, I I'm a fan of the weight. It's definitely on the heavier side, but yeah, I kind of like it. Absolutely, it's good. Feels good. It's got some heft to it. You yeah. know, it's there. Exactly. You know, it's there. It's very confidence inspiring. And it and makes it... great sounds. Right. I like it. And another new one that you guys are coming out with uh, is going to be this one right here with a crossbar lock. Uh, um, right, the Mini Main Street with Mini Main. Uh, well, this is the this is going to be the premium model. You got the Gecko uh, Camo Carbon, yeah. beautiful stuff. Uh, it will come in S35 inch steel. And another beautiful thing about this model is it will come in a budget version with uh, 14C 28 inch steel and your Micardas or G10s. Yeah. So, Beautiful Dirk Pinkerton design, and a, I mean that's a phenomenal designer. Anyways, I mean he's I love he's all work. over the place with his yeah. stuff, and he's got something for everybody within his design spectrum. I agree, and I freaking love that. Now, when can we expect to see all of these hitting the market? Well, the the mini Main Street should be dropping next month in March sometime. Okay. Uh, the budget version should be a little bit later after that. Okay. Uh, and then these models, I want to say before uh, late July. Nice. So sometime in June. That is really cool. Nathan, thank you so much, brother. We no appreciate problem. it. Thank you. Folks, stay tuned for these to hit store shelves.